Hi everyone, welcome back to Hair for Little Girls. Today's video is a little bit different. In today's video, I'm gonna show you 10 of my most used hair products that I don't think I could live without to do my daughter's hair. I often get questions where people are asking me what products I'm using in my hair tutorials. For each of my videos, you can always find a list in my description box of the products that I'm using. So I rank these in order from my most important hair products to my least important hair products. I am going to make a link below to each one of these hair products so that you can find them. The first hair product that I can't live without are these bows. They are five inch bows and I have them in every color and they, to me, are the perfect size hair bow. They're great for if you're putting in a ponytail, they're great for half up, and I go to these bows all the time. I have them in every color. They're really inexpensive to buy. The link that I will leave below, you can get them in several colors for a minimal amount of money. And these are my go-to bow every day. I think if you add this to half up or a ponytail, it just makes any style instantly look so much better. So I probably use the white and the pink the most, but I have them in every color. The next most important thing, I guess number nine, would be my bobby pins. And I don't just like any bobby pins, I like the goodie ones. And these just come in and out of the hair so much better than like cheap ones. You can pick these up at Walmart. You want them to match your hair color. So I have a daughter who has lighter hair and one with darker hair. So these are perfect for me. I get the multi-pack, so I have bobby pins that'll work for both of their hair. Number eight on my list are bun formers. These are kind of raggedy bun formers, but I use these weekly because both of my daughters take ballet. And so we have to put our hair up in buns. So I have two sizes and you also want them to be based on your hair color. So if you have darker hair, you want a darker bun form, lighter hair, you want a lighter one. These make doing buns so much easier. I can do it in like two minutes. So I love these and I wouldn't want to be without them. My next most used hair product are the Amelia hair elastics and these are great. I use these in all my cute little toddler elastic styles. I have a package of these in pretty much every color. Uh, the ones that I use the most are the pink and purple, and I also use the clear ones. I haven't been able to find these in my area, so I pick them up on Amazon. I'll link below where you can get these. The next thing I don't have a big package of, but I use these goodie dark brown elastics. I find that the dark brown just kind of fade into the hair and these don't tend to break. So I really like these elastics. My fifth most used hair product would have to be some sort of detangler. I don't know how your kids wake up, but my kids wake up with lots of tangles in their hair and they don't want me to just start brushing those out. So I have to use some kind of detangler product. So the one I'm liking right now is this Redken One United All-in-One Detangler. This seems to work really well. I know they make a lot that are specifically for kids, but this is the one that I'm using right now. Next thing is probably the most inexpensive item, but it's a comb for doing your parts. I like this style of comb. I will link below a comb set that you can try out. And some people like to use a rat tail comb. I like this for doing my parts. I think it does a good job. You can buy these inexpensively, Walmart, Dollar Tree, anywhere. If you guys watch any of our hair tutorials, you won't be surprised about my third most used hair product. This is my smoothing brush that I bought at Dollar Tree. It costs $1. If you don't have Dollar Tree in your area, you may be able to find these at Walmart. I know I've seen something similar, but it's a black bristle brush, and I don't use this for brushing out the hair, but when you have a ponytail in, it's really great to like just smooth down the sides. This brush works perfectly. So if you haven't picked one of these up to try to smooth your hair down, I recommend this. My second most used product is my brush. And this is a wet brush and I can use this when I put the detangler in. And I got this at Ulta and it's an Olivia Gardens. And this one was like a 50th anniversary, so that's why it's gold. But it's just one, this one is called Ceramic Ion Supreme. 
And this brush is great. I've given this brush to people for gifts and they've told me how much they love it. I have it for each one of my girls. I use it on myself and I just think it's great. Those, the Olivia Garden brushes are amazing. She's not sponsoring me in any way. I just really like her brushes. They are a little bit more expensive than say a brush you would buy at Walmart, but I think it's worth spending the price for your everyday brush. So definitely try those out. And my number one most used product that I have to have when doing my kids hair is spray gel. And I use this stuff a lot. Um, the one that I use is the Garnier Fructis Curl Shape. I purchased this at Walmart. You can also get it at Amazon. This holds the hair in place like nothing else that I've used. It's perfect, it's not that expensive, it's only like three or four dollars, and this to me is worth it. I definitely think you need it. <laughs> I hope you guys like this video of my must-have hair products. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing. We post hair tutorials for little girls weekly, and if you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys in our next video. Bye.